Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. This week's game recommendation is Mega Man The Sequel Wars. And guys, what a fantastic game. As soon as you start the game, it asks you, do you want the default mode or do you want the purest mode? The default mode has a new arranged soundtrack and the purest mode has that kind of nezzy kind of soundtrack and it has uh, the effects like the explosions there. They're, they're not as detailed. So I've gone for default mode for the majority of this video because I want to see the new effects. My Mega Man experience has always been Mega Man 2. That's the Mega Man uh, game I, I played and completed uh, many others I've tried over the years but I never really got into them I found them quite difficult if I'm being completely honest now there's a choice of characters in here you've got Mega Man then you've got Proto Man they've got slightly different uh, abilities Proto Man uh, is a little bit weaker but he has a shield and then you've got Roll Roll who's got a broomstick but she's not limited to that because we'll have a look at some of the options and some of the awesome stuff the options actually give you and the final character guys this character just makes me laugh I've always wanted to crouch in uh Mega Man I know uh, a lot of guys will go no that's wrong because Mega Man's Mega Man and I get that but uh, this one here you're a head with a couple of legs and it's just fantastic what a great thing to add there literally a head and legs uh, amazing stuff now uh, this uh this this isn't a rom hack that's why it's a game recommendation this was made by a, a user over in itch.io by the name of Woodfrog. and what's a fantastic game that they've made their description of the game actually says Mega Man: the sequel wars is a fan-made homebrew remake of Mega Man 4 5 and 6 for the sega mega drive following in the footsteps of the official uh, the officially released Mega Man: the wily wars it aims to carefully recreate the nes classics while giving them a fresh 16-bit coat of paint and a rearranged soundtrack. It also aims to improve on the foundation of the Wily Wars by enhancing both the presentation and gameplay. And it does a great job with that. Now, when you begin the game, uh, you've got a modifiers menu. I'm going easy, I'm going infinite lives, I want the full arsenal, um, and then I'm gonna pick double jump, ear sliding. I didn't put on burst chaser uh, originally, but I did try it out later, that actually makes you faster. And yes, I definitely want infinite ammo for all the weapons. So guys, if you found Mega Man tough like I did, you can turn on all these modifiers and just enjoy the game and kind of go through it and if you're someone that wants a challenge well you can put on your challenge like you saw there when a Mega Man game starts you pick out of one of the different bosses one of the different worlds I pick Skull Man now how Mega Man usually works is you get you beat a boss you get a new weapon or a new ability which you will use to defeat another boss now some weapons and abilities will make it easier to defeat another boss it doesn't really count here because I'm just going to turn on homing missiles and obliterate everything guys honestly this is such a fantastic game now i'm filming this on the mister but you're not limited to playing this on the mister uh, i've also got it on my analog pocket and it plays fantastically well on the analog pocket so i kind of go between my uh, my different course consoles i'm going to be playing this on the analog pocket but but for this video i was at home uh, my mister was there and i was like let's put it on there and test it out and it just plays really really well it's done really really well and guys it's amazing like testing out all the different weapons like here i am with skulls around me and then here i am i'm thinking okay what shall i check in it's just so much fun to find so much fun to try like i've got one here that just stops time it reminds me of the clock power up in castlevania but all i'm doing is every time i fire if the time hasn't stopped it stopped and uh, it doesn't work on bosses i think i tried it on a boss down the line it did not work but hey it works on this dude and i'm freezing him and i'm just shooting and <laughs> shooting him up now mega man uh, to talk a bit about mega man the original game i think was released in 1987 it was a nes game and uh, i think there's like over 50 games in the franchise now and worldwide they've sold close to 40 million games now and i think the most recent one was it mega man 11 or mega man 12 i did actually get that for my switch but i did find it quite tough now you've got different kind of models in here as well so you've got different versions of the characters you can pick which we'll have a look at shortly as well but you've got like one with uh with a jetpack you've got a stronger version of Mega Man and then you've got like the vanilla version of Mega Man like you've got choice of characters in here the characters feel good they feel unique and this is such a good game like I had the blast playing this and like I said I like Mega Man but I did find them difficult over the years I remember playing them on various consoles various computers over the years and whenever I played them I was like wow this is tough and I didn't have the patience to persevere through them I know a few friends of mine 
definitely recommend uh, Mega Man games, especially for the fact that there's a lot of Mega Man games, uh, or there's a lot of Mega Man characters that have been hacked into Castlevania, and Castlevania are, are some of my favorite games. So I'm t t testing out like Zero, uh, Mega Man, all of them in Castlevania, but I don't know enough about the Mega Man games to truly appreciate them. But here I'm trying the different abilities. I've got like a jetpack here, and I can fly around. That was very, very interesting, but I've kind of got double jump and ear dash turned on as well, so it kind of lets me dash in the air. Then you've got the powerful one that makes you a little bit more powerful but your shots don't go as uh, as as far along but you can always change your weapon you know we've got the modifiers on and i'm enjoying this but if you want a challenge you can set the challenge you can set the bar as high or as low as you want and for the sake of this video and for the entertainment i am setting the bar very very low uh, guys definitely try this out play it wherever you're going to play it there's no right or wrong way of doing it just test this out and uh, Woodfrog has just done such an amazing job um making this like a lot of hard work and a lot of love has gone into this and there's a lot of fan projects out there where you can see the person uh, that's actually made it really knows the game it's their main game it's the game they they just loved growing up and they wanted to do something and they've got the ability and the talent to do it and honestly this is like a game capcom would have made themselves a lot of these fan games and some of the rom hacks they're just so awesome they're like first party or better than first party releases i've played some that i honestly don't think if the companies actually made the games themselves they couldn't make so guys like you have to check this out like this is just a no-brainer it's free it's available on itch.io uh, you don't have to convert anything you can that's it download uh, download the rom download the dot bin file run it on your mega drive run it wherever you want to run it um but yeah guys I, I really don't know what else to say for it this is just this is just fun it is fun and uh, yeah like i enjoy blowing up the snails they're not really bosses there but maybe they're maybe they are kind of midway bosses but i'm so op with the weapons i've got i'm just kind of smashing through everything here you go i love those homing missiles they really really do make the experience easy and just before we kind of end the video just going to have a look at some of uh, the other characters again i really really do like roll i did try some other weapons with her but ended up i, I really like the broomstick i like the kind of melee attacks in this it makes the Mega Man game feel very very different the, with, with the fact that a character now has melee attacks um but here i am i'm 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 quite bad and i think eventually i'm just gonna land on a spike and uh blow up and <laughs> okay this character here i just absolutely love it it's just it's just crazy he's so small and uh as you can probably tell from this video i really like the homing missiles it just makes the game so so easy but i imagine I, I, if i played this without the modifiers i think i'd give up quite easily i won't have the patience to go through it because i've just got so many games in um in my list to play i don't think this will this would be one i play but i am going to play this on my analog pocket i intend to play through it but i'm definitely going to do it with cheats on so definitely all you guys out there that had difficulties with Mega Man were like oh, I don't like it it's too difficult this is your time to shine guys even this weapon here I really liked it. it's like a kind of plunger I'm doing kind of badly here but a weapon he's got it's, it's like he's firing out these plungers and, and they stick over to the thing uh, I think they act as little platforms as well so there's probably a part in the game where, where it's designed you fire it against the wall and it kind of goes out and uh, you can use those plungers uh, to climb around Okay, guys, so um, that was it, really. This is this week's game recommendation, Mega Man The Sequel Wars. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed it. Share your comments below about this. Uh, yeah, enlighten us. I, I'm sure many of you guys know more about Mega Man's and Mega Man fans. Let us know about this. Let us know about Mega Man 4, 5, and 6. Anything you can add, awesome. And guys, keep your recommendations coming in. Many of you guys mentioned this. This was definitely on my radar, but I do appreciate all the feedback and the recommendations I get from you guys. Anyway, guys, have a good week. Uh, have a good weekend. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.